In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can export transaction and list data from your QuickBooks desktop company file. So why would you need to do that? So say you are moving your data from QuickBooks into a third party app like a CRM system or an ordering system, then you would looking for a way if there was no built-in integration you'd be looking to export out those orders and lists to populate into a, another app also perhaps you might be sharing your data with a vendor or supplier so sending orders over in an excel sheet and they need that in a um, excel or electronic format then you'd need to export that data out of quickbooks the third way, you might be working with a partner and you're looking to exchange information with them. Or finally, if you're looking to perhaps batch update transactions in your QuickBooks company file or looking to batch delete. So QuickBooks provides a number of built-in ways that you can export data out from QuickBooks, um, either through the IIF file um, or the reports. And I'll run through each of those different ways in the next section of this demonstration. Or you may need something a little bit more advanced or sophisticated when it comes to exporting data out of QuickBooks. And the final part of this demonstration, I'll show you how a data utility um, like Z-Axis can export out information out in multiple different formats and multiple different ways. So let's get started with the demonstration and start off by showing you the three or four ways that QuickBooks can export transaction or list data out of its company file. So to use the IIF list export feature, we're going to select file, utilities, export and lists to IIF files. Now here you can select the type of list that you would like to export. And then you can click OK. And QuickBooks will prompt you to where you'd like to save that IIF file to. So I'm going to do, give it a name. And I'm going to save it to my desktop and click Save. So once that's been exported, um, you can then use that exported IIF file equally to import into another QuickBooks company file. So we get file utilities and we reverse the process import IIF file. And you can go through this wizard here, which is browsing to the export lists and importing them back in again. So that's very simply how you can export out the list data in IIF format. Now, if we actually take a look at that IIF file, I'm going to open it up in Notepad. And you can see a look at how that file is structured. So in this file, you can see how the IIF file is constructed. So you have a lot of different rows and it's not necessarily that easy to edit unless you're using, have to open it in Excel and then edit it in there. But it gives you an idea of the structure of the way that IIF file is um, constructed. It doesn't always include all the fields that you might get using um, the alternative option that I'll show you later. So that's that's how you use the IIF export and import feature. So the second way to export out transaction work or list data out of QuickBooks is another built-in feature and it's called the address export. So we're going to go to file, utilities, export menu and addresses to text file. So this allows you to select what particular um, list, so whether it's all lists or, you know, for example, just the customer jobs, we can select that here, click OK, and it's going to prompt us to save the file, give it a name and then save. So that's exported just the addresses for the customer jobs out to a text file. And you can, again, you can use Excel to open that, but that gives you an idea of, of um, the structure of the data that can be exported from QuickBooks. But this is just the addresses. So looking at the third way of exporting data out of QuickBooks, 
and this is primarily for transaction data, um, is via the report menu. So QuickBooks has an extensive list of reports that it can generate. And all of these reports can be saved to Excel. So for example, we're going to look at um, sales by customer detail. We can now see that there's invoice data as well as sales receipt data and broken down into particular line levels. So we can see the item that was sold, we can see the quantity. Now the great thing about QuickBooks, we can customize that. We can add in additional information onto that report. So for example, we know we wanted to add the description for the item. We can just check these fields, item description, um, and other types of data like perhaps class. It will expand out the columns so you can see additional information. Now that's quite extensive, but it doesn't include every single field. So for example, things like custom fields might not be included on these particular reports. Then when you're ready, you can just click Excel and you say create a worksheet. Go ahead and create an Excel file. So here's the report that's been exported out to Excel. And that's great because it looks great. It looks very similar to what was created in QuickBooks um, and has a reasonable amount of detail on it. So that could be used to, to share with other particular clients. But one thing that you won't get is a flat structure. So you'll see there's a lot of formatting that's gone in here to make it look um, uh, particularly appealing if you want to print it out or so on. Um, but that's not necessarily good if it's being sent to another application to read because it's going to read a lot of subtotals and indentations and they're going to make a bit of a mess of the data. So not necessarily an ideal format for exchanging with data with other applications. So there, there is a limitation there. The fourth way, um, which requires the accountant's edition of QuickBooks, would be to um, send your journal entries uh, in a exportable file format. And that's just selecting the accountants and then send general journal entries menu, select the dates of the journals you want to trans you want to export, and then you can create that file and email as an attachment, um, which can then be imported into another QuickBooks company file. So look at the main alternative to exporting transactions and list data out of QuickBooks is to use one of the third party apps. And the one I'm going to show you here is called Z-Axis, is the one that we publish. The app um, runs next to QuickBooks and allows you to connect to your QuickBooks company file. And the first step is really to select what type of data transaction list or list data you want to export out of QuickBooks. So there's a very extensive list here. You can see anything from accounts to attachment lists, bills, billing rates, many of the transaction types as well. Pretty much every single um, transaction or list type can be exported using Z-Axis. So it has a very extensive, that's the first thing, has a very extensive list of different types. So just for simplicity's sake, we're going to choose an invoice. Now the next stage is really to choose your filter. So what range of data do you want to export? You can select filters like um, a date range, so the date from and to. You can select a reference number range, and you can also select a name filter. So whether it be one particular customer or multiple types of customers, it's all possible using Axis. So we can select here what type of customers we want to include. And we can use a multiple combination of those as well. Once you've selected the filters that you want to use, you can then go ahead and um, also select whether the invoice has been paid or not paid. So there's an option there. And you can go ahead and then begin the process of getting those transactions from QuickBooks. So Access will go off um, and retrieve the detail from QuickBooks that you want to export. At this stage, it will give you a preview of all the data that it's found and the results that it's found. So you can go through and make sure the information that you need. And you can see here, it includes a very extensive range 
of different fields for all those transactions. So it has the most extensive list or range of fields that's possible to export. You either have the ability to um, only exclude certain rows if you want to and so on. It also allows you to select or save the filters for the export. So if you want to be using um, that export multiple times, you can sell, select the option to save that filter set and then rerun that the next time you come through. So once we've got that data, we also have the ability to manage the template. And what that means is it can um, say, you know, when I have, see this data, the default way is to export out all the columns, but you may not want all of them. So you have the option here to select only the columns that you want to be exported. Um, and again, this can be saved too. So you have that option. So a lot more powerful in terms of how the data is presented. So it restrict just to the fields or columns that you need. And finally, you have the option to select the format you'd, that you would like that transaction or list data to be saved into. So we've got um, Excel 20, 2007 format, standard older Excel text, XML, and so on. The final step in the process to actually export the data out, and it will prompt you to to see where you'd like to save that exported data. And save. And finally, you can see that um, particular data in Excel that has been exported um, with the filtered columns and filtered rows if you need to. So Axis provides a alternative and a much more powerful alternative to the way that list and transaction data can be exported out. And what's important here is it's in a format that is flat. It's very easy to be read by other applications and can also have the ability to, um, if you need to, delete those transactions or lists from QuickBooks once they've been exported. So quite a powerful way of being able to export your transactional list data from QuickBooks desktop.